Yeah, that, that's a fantastic question. So we see ourselves very much as a Illinois heartland company. Um, and the three main reasons are talent, customers, and costs. Um, so, you know, for doing agriculture and technology, like you couldn't ask for a better set of people that are interested, knowledgeable, and passionate about both of the, uh, all of these things, right? Um, so uh, UIUC is one of the top ag schools. It's one of the top computer science, robotics, you know, any engineering field really school. Um, and with the large student body that's like super hardworking, uh, we uh, were able to make really amazing early progress with just the student interns that we had. And, you know, we were able to uh, convince several of them to uh, stick with the company rather than go uh, join Google or Amazon or SpaceX, although we've trained several people that have done exactly that. So that's the caliber of people that we get here. Um, and then, of course, you know, because we are uh, an ag-focused company, uh, specifically going after the very large acreage, you know, row crops, commodity crops, um, it makes no sense for us to relocate to, like, you know, Silicon Valley or somewhere, right? Um, I feel like there's already, like, 10 strawberry harvesting startups in the Bay Area, so I don't feel any urgency to uh, even establish an office there. Although we have lots of people in Central Valley that have approached us over the years of like, hey, can we start using your robots? Because they are, again, facing the same problem. They're, they're using drone data and satellite data, and it's not really particularly useful. Uh, so we're working with several of them, um, and we'll continue to expand our business there. Um, and then finally, you know, cost is one of the biggest uh, determinants of startup success or failure, I feel like, um, and having cost of living that's a third of, you know, San Jose uh, is not bad at all. Uh, we've seen, we were able to get a sneak peek into a big name ag tech startup that had to fold a couple of years ago, uh, a year ago, and they burned through like $12 million in two years just on their engineering talent, um, and they did a lot less than what we've done. They built, they built like two robots. Uh, there were slightly larger robots, but still. Um, so, you know, relative to that, you know, the cost effectiveness, uh, cost of innovation, cost of actually commercializing uh, technologically intensive products is very, very favorable here. Um, so, yeah, we'll be sticking around for the foreseeable future.